to our channel. Today I'm going to talk about something very interesting. Today I'm going to talk about monsters and the giants. Do they really exist or they just exist in mythological characters? Today's topic is about a one-eyed monster called Cyclops. Do Cyclops really exist or it's just a mythological character? So stay tuned. Cyclopia is a congenital disorder. It is the most extreme form of holoprosencephaly. Holoprosencephaly is a cephalic disorder in which the developing embryo fails to produce two hemispheres. We all know we have two hemispheres. We all have two hemispheres. This one is left hemisphere. This one is right hemisphere. In hollow prosencephaly, the embryo has only one hemisphere. One out of 1600 newborn animals and one out of 200 miscarriage fetus shows cyclopia. Cyclopia occurs when certain proteins are misexpressed during the developmental period, which causes the embryo to produce only one hemisphere rather than producing two hemispheres. That results in the formation of one eye lobe, one olfactory lobe, which result in misformation of eyes and nose. Now the question arises why cyclopia develops? The answer to the question is sonic hedgehog signaling. Sonic hedgehog signaling is very important during developmental period. It, the sonic hedgehog involves in the separation of single eye field into two bilateral eye fields. It is said that sonic hedgehog is when emitted from the precordial plate, precordial plate suppresses suppresses pack 6 which causes the one eye field which causes the one eye field to divide into two uh, two bilateral eye field that is when sonic hedgehog is emitted from the precordial plate it suppresses pack 6 by suppressing the pack 6 one eye field is developed into two bilateral eye fields now let's talk about how sonic hedgehog works. Sonic hedgehog has a receptor called patch receptor which is located in the membrane and is associated with smoothened protein. When light end is absent, the smoothened protein becomes inactive and CI protein that is cubitus interpretus protein is tethered into the membrane by cos2 uh, into the microtubule by cos2 and fuse protein. Now, two other proteins that is pKa and slide protein comes and cleaves the associated CI protein into two fragments. And this fragmented CI protein enters the nucleus and acts as a transcription repressor and represses the transcription. Okay? Now, what happens when sonic hedgehog comes? When sonic hedgehog comes and binds with the receptor, the smoothened protein becomes activated. This causes phosphorylation to the cos2 and fuse protein and also inactive pKa and slime protein. And that's why CI protein is now free and enters the nucleus and acts as then the CI protein, intact CI protein acts as transcription activated. Another important thing in sonic hedgehog signaling is cholesterol. Cholesterol catalytically cleave sonic hedgehog protein. Sonic hedgehog protein has two parts, N-terminal part and C-terminal part. 
in the mineral part is catalytically active and is secreted in that form. Cholesterol comes and cleaves its protein. They not only cleaves the N terminal part, but it becomes associated with the active portion and helps the protein to diffuse into the cell. They not only helps the protein diffusing the cell, but also helps it to attach with its receptor patch. So, if somehow the cholesterol is not present, then this signaling will not occur. So, anything that interferes with the cholesterol biosynthesis or anything that alters this pathway or interferes with this pathway can produce cyclopia. The two teratogens that is jarvine and cyclopamine is responsible for cyclopia in humans. These toxins interferes with the cholesterol biosynthesis that's why they produce cyclopia. This is it guys that's all what I have for today. If you have any question about this class then the comment section is open. You do comment there or you can also send your question directly to my Instagram account. And if you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button and share with your friends and do subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Thank you.